across the lands, across the seas, oh, across the lands, <laughs> across the seas. Thank you. Yo, yo, yo. Oh shit, it actually happened. No, there it is. I thought I dropped the guitar pick and it would teleport to another dimension, but I found it. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Sunday with Ola 32. How about that? We're getting closer and closer to Christmas. And uh, we have a new guitar, obviously, because, you know, Friday. Last Friday we had a new guitar. Uh, it's the AB 1.7 in white. Look at that. Roasted maple neck. Evertune. Sweet, sweet Alabama. Right there. White. Thank you. I thought we would get some Christmas spirit in here. Uh, I bought myself a little Christmas gift this year. Uh, usually it's a guitar, but this year I, I, I bought this. It's my little new penis friend. You know I call you guys penis friends and vagina friends? Well, penis friends, this is you. I haven't seen a vagina plushie yet, but I'll get one, okay? If there is one, please link it to me. I'll get a vagina friend as well, but this is my penis friend right here. <gasps> what the f was that? <laughs> okay, a little penis friend. Let's let's be there. Okay, but Christmas spirit, very important. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, now we're ready. With this new setup right here, I'm ready for the news. So news of the day that gives me an extreme hard-on and a boner is that finally Liquid Tension Experiment 3 has been sort of teased by John Petrie. If you don't know what Liquid Tension Experiment is, it's basically uh, a couple of members from Dreamfitter and Tone 11 on bass. Except that Mike Portnoy is now not officially in Dreamfitter, so I guess it's just two people from Dreamfitter. Uh, but back in the day it was three people and Tone 11. Whatever. It's still a great and magnificent uh, oh shit, okay. It's probably one of my favorite instrumental projects and their previous two albums were something I was listening to uh, religiously. There's just so many good... I mean, obviously, John Petrucci. God damn it, man. I think that some of John Petrucci's best work and solos have been on the Liquid Tension Experiment albums. And now, finally, we're getting a third one. How about that? That makes me extremely happy. That's a really good piece of news for 2020 right there. Okay? That's, uh, that's what I tell you. So, extremely excited for this, obviously. You should be too, okay? You know, I was squeezing John Petrucci's balls when I had my coffee with uh, Ola interview with him. I asked him about Liquid ten Tension Experiment, and he was like, uh, I can't really talk about that. That's journalism right there. I was squeezing his balls and I said, so it's confirmed. F yeah. And there it is. It's on the news. Great. Next piece of news is that another really, really good band that I uh, admire a lot. Oh shit, there's a camera over there. Finance. Josh Middleton of Silosis, an incredible band that if you haven't listened to him, you're missing out, basically. But they're releasing an ESP Guitars LTD Josh Middleton Center Guitar Series. J ah, shit, that's loud. But it's okay because it's just really good riffing. I mean, Josh we'll Middleton is basically the king LTD. of sick ass nasty the riffs the right there. The and he's also he's amazing. also playing for Architects uh, as well. Is it Architects? Yes, it is. Anyways, he has an LTD Josh Middleton signature series JM2 guitar coming. And uh, it's a bolt-on guitar with Fishman pickups. I really admire Josh because uh, he's he seems to be a really hard-working dude. And you know, sometimes I appreciate that a lot a more than, you know, guitar neck. players just being really, really good at their instruments. The there are guitar well, players out there that work the really, really hard and, uh, you know, they, they deliver. And Josh is 
that type of guy. I mean, the Salasa stuff that he's doing, he's, he's singing and playing guitar. And he's f***ing amazing at it. And uh, it's real nice to see him with a Saint Germain. All right, right. He prefers the tonematic recessed bread for uh, palm muning. That's cool. I mean, it's it's a nice guitar, I must say. Listen to that. I mean, this will probably demonetize my video, but I don't care. I mean, these riffs, these riffs, man. So yeah, man. Very proud and happy to see that Josh is getting a signature guitar. He definitely deserves it. And. Go check it out, okay? The news. Hello, adventurous with Ola and Louise. Hi. So, uh, for my birthday in, in September, Louise bought me uh, like a stayover at a hotel in uh, with like a pool and stuff, and it's supposed to be fancy. So. Uh, now it's in December, we finally got a babysitter, so we can go and uh, go to this place. But I'm excited, and uh, yeah, we're gonna eat some good food, take a swim or two, and uh, you know, uh, sleep without the interference of kids, <laughs> and stuff like that. So uh, it's gonna be great. And Swedish word today, what I'm wearing right now, Björn Fitta, <laughs> it's basically bear p okay? That's the pool. Oh. As usual, with the tails. <laughs> Keys never work. Perfect. With hats. Complimentary hats. <laughs> shug. <laughs> Will it shug? <laughs> Will it shug? Do I have to take this now? <laughs> Beef. <laughs> broccoli. Something. That's my beard right there. <laughs> that was nice. All right, so right now we're in this outdoor pool. I mean, it's around freezing above, you know, the air. It's nice. Ah. <laughs> it's not a party without the pinkest drink you can get. It's a shit thing. This might look suspicious. <laughs> with several beds like this, but you're supposed to chill here, okay? Not, not the other thing, you know? Here we are, chilling. It's hot and icy here. Very hot. You press this button, and you get service. <laughs> That's luxury. This is nice. Oh, so <laughs> Once you're out of the pool, it's really cold. But we're Vikings. We can handle this, no problem. All right, you might not think this, but it's actually in the morning after. It's 7.30 and we're up for breakfast. Granola stuff and it's 
so that was it. That was nice. That was really no? nice. That was real nice. And uh, yes, now we're back to reality. Uh, to kids, kids' life and family life. But that was a nice little uh, short little vacation for us. So thank you so much, Liz. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys remember when uh, you had to vote for a guitar? And I said I would buy the guitar you voted for. Well, you know, you guys voted. And the results are... I don't know what the results are, but I purchased a guitar anyways. Because uh, I think there was one guitar that just stood out out of the three that you could vote for. You could vote for the Steven Carpenter uh, LTD, you can vote for the Jim Root Fender Stratocaster and you can vote for the PRS Mark Holcomb guitar. And the winner is Jim Root Stratocaster by a long shot. So I've received this guitar this past week. I figured we would just open it up. And I have to say, when it arrived... I mean, look at this. What was that? Oh, that's a uh, cable. Look at this tweed case, man. Fucking hell, it's the first time I've seen a tweed case with white and black. It looks fucking amazing. Just by, you know, taking this out of the box, that was just a really good experience. Uh, so, very, very good start on this uh, unboxing right here. But we're gonna unbox some more. We, we have to check out the guitar. I mean, the case is nice, I must say. I would probably pay the same amount for just the case. No. Probably not, but you, you get my idea. I, it, it's just making me excited. And I'm gonna open this up right now. Holy shit. Okay. We have a Fender Certificate of Authenticity. Uh, thank you, it says. Your instrument has been carefully crafted from premium materials for a lifetime of playing enjoyment. Shit, that's a long time. Lifetime. Those are the longest times, actually, the lifetimes. Oh shit, and it comes with a Fender strap. I had one of these. This is like, you know, first time I ever got a strap, it was one of these. Shit, that makes me really nostalgic. Holy shit, you get, get some kind of uh, care package. You get this uh, shitty Chinese cable, that's okay. But you get like a cleaning cloth. Holy shit. You get a polisher. Look. I didn't get this with my custom shop strap, just saying. But with this one, I got one. Holy shit. So that's, that's a nice touch. Just now, I haven't even, like, touched the guitar, showed the guitar, but here it is. Look at that. The Jim Root Stratocaster. And there was a lot of people that were like, oh, you should have gotten the Jazzmaster. Well, me. This is what I found on the website, okay? And uh, that was available. But yeah, man, this looks great. This is US built. And for the price, that's a pretty solid price, I must say, for a US built guitar. So you voted for this guitar. I will make a video using this guitar and it's gonna be fucking kick ass. And this is interesting. I have two Slipknot guitars now. Can you see that? I have the McThompson and the Jim Root. Obviously, this is a little bit more expensive. It's made in fucking US of A and this is made in Indonesia. Ah, shit. Will I make a comparison? Probably not. But, you know, I'm gonna make a video of the guitar at least. So that's cool. Uh, we have to plug it in. Just a first little teaser. Oh, I, I immediately see that it's collecting a lot of dust. Shit, okay. Here it is. First time, first play. This is the Jim Root Stratocaster. Shit. Okay, let me just tune it real quick. For your pleasure. And here it is, all tuned. Nice man, it has EMG pickups. I'm not sure if this, uh, I'm not sure if these are uh, something special in terms of signature pickups, but I think this is an EMG 81 right here. Oh, that's my classic riff that I usually play. I finally remember how to play it. Uh, so I feel straight away that this is a little bit of thicker neck to it than uh, I'm used to. But I mean, Jim Root is a big guy. Let's just say that. I'm not going to say anything more. I'm going to make a video of this guitar. You voted for the guitar. Congratulations uh, to me. <laughs> uh, I had to buy it. 
Sunday with Ola Riff Challenge, what's up? You know that intro that I made in this video, you can download the drums to that intro and uh... The drums were actually made by a member of mine, uh, Benji. Uh, Mr. Benji, thank you so much. Um, and uh, I wrote a song for The Sunday with Ola uh, using his drums. And now you can download those drums and make your own riffs. And maybe I can feature you in the next Sunday with Ola. I did the same in the previous weeks. And now we're going to check out some of the contenders from last week. Okay, great. Let's start with Kinnamamamama. Okay? Kinnamamamama. Oh shit, that's the intro. Kinnamamamama. That's great, Kinnamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamam
Look at this. This is basically Fika. I've done Fika before with my brother. Now we're doing Fika with Luis. Please take away that, that abomination right there. Sorry. Thank you. First and foremost of all, they sent us their tea that looks like this. This is their band tea. Yes. So they're basically making advertisements on my channel right now. There you go. You know what I think about advertisements. <laughs> I'm not a fan. But, you know, because he's a good guy and he sent us stuff, I'll gladly drink their band tea. Okay? <laughs> so there you go. Uh, we start with the tea. Tea. It's called Dark Forest Spell. Mm. I guess it's some sort of like black tea. Yeah. It says so. Oh, it said so. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, SMR tea right there. But that's good because black tea is basically the only tea I drink. If I ever drink tea, I enjoy black tea. So that's good. That's a good start to a fika. But I mean, I want to open this box. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. This is Ola and Ikea, by the way. I open here like a regular human being. But look at this. Louise pointed out that there's a little flap. <laughs> so I can do this. But you know, because I'm Ola. Too. What? Oh, wow. What the fuck is this? A big... It's a frisbee. <laughs> oh, this is not what I thought it was. Look at this. I think it's uh, something in it. If you look like this. Oh, shit. There's... Yeah. Can you see that? If, if you had a lighting. Can you see now? <laughs> <laughs> no. There's something inside of it. What Maybe is it? Should, uh, it smells that. great, this frisbee. It says colonada on it. Uh, you know, colon. You know what a colon is? Yes. Yes. Right. Oh, Ooh. okay, okay. I it's, was right. It's raining. What was it called? Colonada. Wafers originally from spa area. Hazelnut filling. Hazelnut? Yeah. That was great. Like, I don't understand how you should eat this, though. Because it's really... Messy. Messy. <laughs> but really good. Isn't I mean, nice. our kids are going to like this. I think the cleaning lady doesn't really enjoy it. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> or, oh. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I also clean, by the way, sometimes. Your ass. <laughs> cola. That's my favorite type of cola I've Colonada. ever had. Okay. Lactatrinki. What does it say? Biscuit with chocolate and hazelnut filling. Sounds really good. Sounds like my kind of biscuit. Oh, look at that. Holy wow. shit. Oh, this is a good day. I, I have a good feeling about this one. Look at that. Ooh. There you go. Thank you. Mm. Oh, you're taking two bites. I like that. Oh, sorry. You're investing. In the wafer. I like that. I'm more of a pro than you. I take one bite and then I go to the next. I enjoy it. I can support wafers. You know, I like wafers when I was a kid. I don't really, uh, you know, you don't really get them nowadays. In Sweden? Yeah. No, but wafers, you know, like oh, yeah, uh, Ruan. We call them Ruan, like a robbery <laughs> in Sweden. <laughs> They're called robberies, everyone. <laughs> Taste of butter. Yeah. Definitely not healthy. No. Nope. But still very good. Okay. Polo machine. Uh, Typical biscuit for having coffee, one side dish in chocolate. Ooh. It seems like to be the theme here. Dude. I must say, I'm a little bit disappointed with this. What? It doesn't taste so much. Am I wrong? This is one of those that you get like in a cookie jar at Ikea kind of taste <laughs> to it. You know, when you get like, oh, chocolate covered cookies, Ikea in a box. And you're like, oh, so happy. And you eat them and it's like, nah. Guess what's all right. And then you keep on eating them, hoping <laughs> them to become better. But they don't. Let's bring out the penis. <laughs> it's just like Mandalorian, but it's a penis instead of uh, Baby Yoda. <laughs> okay. You know? Do you want to eat some? Yes, yes. Give me some. Ooh. Ah. <clears throat> then he pukes. Coffee flavor wafer. Okay. It really was coffee. Mm -hmm. You know, I love coffee, <laughs> but, I but I don't like coffee flavored things. Okay. What was your favorite? One of those? Yeah, the chocolate uh, covered uh, was it wafers. Ka Kavenki or that was what? good. No, ta 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 Tatranki wins our bet today. I, yeah, that was good. I like that. Did you like that? Yes, I did. I'm a little penis friend. Hello. Thank you. Okay. There you go. Thank you so much to Tom. We have more to taste, but it has to wait. Okay? Yes. Okay, great. Hola and Luis Thank tasting. You. Check shit. Thank you. And that, my little penis friends and vagina friends was it for Sunday with Ola for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I have a little tip for you right here. You know Brandon Sills who made the programming for my single, Stars and Ponies, you know, the, he did the synthwave thing. 
for my single. Uh, people enjoyed it a lot. Brandon has uploaded a video showing how he went about making those synth waves uh, programming and all that stuff so i urge you after this video go check it out i'll link it here in the back okay other than that guys i just want to wish you a merry merry christmas uh next sunday with Ola will be after christmas but before new year so i uh, we're just gonna see what happens okay but guys hope you have a really really good holiday and i'll see you next time how about that thank you so much for watching a lot of clapping today i'm liking it <laughs>